Hi guys! So as promised, I will be doing today a review of the Cinderella Storylook Palette by Sephora. Um, I have another video which is the Jasmine Palette. It doesn't have the best lighting, but I do have a video of that, as well as swatches on my blog of the Jasmine Palette, which looks like this. This is Volume 2. Um, I'll link everything down in the damn bar. Today I'm doing the Cinderella Palette, which looks like this. And this is the, the Volume 1 of the Storylook Collection. Um, this palette... This is the box it came in. Um, and it's really cute because if you look, like there's Cinderella, there's the horses that pull the carriage, um, there's the castle. If you can see, I'm sorry if I'm blinding you. This packaging is really, really bright. Um, so, yeah. And on the back, it has all the colors in a little storybook. And this has, this palette has 15 shadow, 20 shadows, I'm sorry. Um, four rows of five shadows each, whereas the Jasmine palette, if you haven't seen my video, has 15 shadows, a blush, a blush, and a bronzer. Um, this one has just eyeshadows, and um, yeah, so this is the Cinderella palette. This also has the same design as the box, so if you look, there's Cinderella, um, there's pumpkins around her, there's um, the castle, what else is there? So a little bit of everything on this. Oh, there's the, uh, there's her, uh, godmother, the fairy godmother right there. So this packaging is really cute. It has Cinderella in silhouettes. Um, on the side it says Cinderella. It's probably upside down. It is. Sorry. It says Cinderella, and then on the bottom here it says Disney Volume 1. Um, so yeah, that's this. That's what the outside of this palette looks like. So on the inside, it's the same way as the Jasmine palette. It opens up, you just pull out, and it opens up to reveal all the shadows. So that's what they look like. And then this just becomes like a little empty container. And then just like the Jasmine palette, and it's one thing that I love, this thing completely comes out. So now you have just an empty thing, and then you have a small little palette to work with like that. Um, I love all of these colors, and these, just like the Jasmine palette, are all named from the movie, from the Cinderella movie. The very top, it says, Fairy Tales Do Come True. And then each one is named for the movie. I will have full swatches of all these colors down below in my blog. But um, a few of my favorite colors from this palette, and I do wear this palette often. I'm, I'm actually wearing it today. So a few of my favorite colors um, are All Aglow which looks like that. I don't know if you can see it. But it's just like a coppery neutral, a coppery metallic, I'm sorry, kind of a color. It's really pretty. I'll have much better swatches of these down on my blog below because I realize it's really bright right now and I don't have the best lighting. Um, Charming, which is a really pretty shimmery color for highlight, like a cream, cream color for highlighting. This one, it's that one right there. There. Um, Killjoy, which is a metallic dark gray, which is that one right there. Um, and definitely Drizella. I use this one all the time. I wear this one on my lids all the time. And it's a really pretty bronzy um, color. And it's this one right here. So yeah, those are definitely the favorites of this collection. They also have some great colors. Um, the only ones, the only two that I find to be a little bit not very well pigmented are these two. And this, these are matte. So this one is Cinderella. And you can see it comes off really well on like a finger swatch. But then once you go like actually swatch it on the skin, it's like not very strong. Like that's... There we go. That's it right there. You can barely see it. It's like a, it's a really pretty seafoam green, but you can't really see it. Um, glass slipper is a little bit better, and it's like a light blue, but it's still not the best. I'm running out of room. But it's still, well, it's not too bad. This one does have some shimmer in it, so it's not, that's why it's not, like, not coming up. This one is completely, completely matte. Um, so that's, I think that's why it's not really coming up, off in color, just there. Now that I did a double layer, you can really see the color, but that took a lot of effort to get that color payoff for those colors. This other color, this royal, this color called royal is also matte, but it's ridiculously well pigmented. That's the color. 
and that's the swatch. So, um, the other matte color, Royal, is really well pigmented. This one's the only one that's a little bit, like, not... Cinderella's the only one that didn't impress me out of this whole palette. But, um, you know, 1 out of 20 isn't really bad for me. Um, every other color is beautiful. Um, they have a really nice matte, um, highlighting color called The Wish. This one's just, this one's completely matte as well. It looks like that. Um, what else do I love? They have a row, these are all metallics. This is the row that I use the most right here. These are all metallic colors. So, like, the metallic yellow. There's this one I already showed you, I think. It's really metallic-y highlight. Chateau is like a purple, it's like a taupe. It's like a dark taupe purple, burnt purple kind of color. Palace is like a nice metallic -y neutral. And then Drizella, which I already showed you. But these are beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, I will have full swatches on my blog. But that's what they all look like. This is the one that I had already swatched. This is a Wish. This is the matte one. But these are all... Gus Gus is one of my favorites. It's a beautiful gold. Um, this is Charming, which I think I already swatched for you. Um, this is Palace. You can't really see it too well, but it's a nice neutral. And then this one is Chateau, which is like a purple taupey color. I love all of these. Um, this is the row that I go to the most because I love wearing metallics on my eyes. I think they look so flattering and so beautiful. And these are the colors that I tend to gravitate towards the most. But I do use a couple of these other colors. For example, Midnight. This is just such a pretty color. It's blue. It's a dark blue, like black and blue with light blue sparkle. I don't know if you can see that very well, but um, that's what it looks like. I hope you can see the light blue sparkle. I think you can. But it's a dark, 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 dark blue with light blue sparkle, and it's really, really pretty. And also the dark color that they have in here, it's black with gold sparkle. It's called Cinders, and it's a very pigmented black. I really love this black. Um, and you can definitely see the sparkle in this. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but you can definitely see the sparkle. Um, so yeah, I will have full swatches on my blog. Um, this palette is amazing. If you're in the Southern California area, or in the Orange County area, um, I did manage, it sold out online, I believe. It sold out on Sephora website, and I think it sold out on most stores, but if you can find it and you're a Disney nerd like I do, this palette is fantastic. But, um, if you're in the general area, I actually got mine not that long ago, maybe two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, at the Downtown Disney Sephora. Um, I managed to find this, and I know that they had a whole bunch more, so if you're in the general area and you want to get this palette, you should try the Downtown Disney Sephora, because I know they had at least ten more. It looked like on the shelf, and they might have more in the back. So I'd urge you to try to find it there, and check your local Sephora, because they might still have it. I know that it's sold out online, however, um, and I was really sad about that, because, you know, it's a great palette, and I wish people could still get it. Um, I also did get, and this I think still is available, is the Cinderella Sephora by OPI set. I don't have the Jasmine one, but it's ho I'm something I'm hoping to get in the next couple weeks. Um, but I'm going to do a review of the Cinderella OPIs, too. Um, swatches of everything will be down below. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying Disney Week to celebrate the launch of the Beautifully Disney collection. Um, if you don't really know what I'm talking about, um, I have a link down below to my video and my blog talking about it. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, for Disney Week, probably for tomorrow, I'll be doing the Urban Decay, um, Theodora palette from Oz. I'll be doing swatches and a review of that. And then keep an eye out, I will be doing nail polishes on my blog, um, to continue Disney Week. And I will try, I can't promise anything because I don't know if I'll have time this week, but I will try to do a tutorial with each of the beautifully Disney, um, quads that I have. So I think that's about it. Keep checking back. Check out my blog for new stuff every day. Keep checking back to see what videos I post. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you for watching.